Okay, guys, you've just heard the new British national anthem, God Save the King. Yes, Queen Elizabeth has died, like, over a month ago. Well, actually, uh, 43 or 42 days, uh, and also, uh, like, 45 or 46 days ago, she appointed Liz Truss as Prime Minister. Well, Liz Truss is technically no longer Prime Minister. Here's why, but before we continue, uh, please make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss out on my future videos. Also, join the Discord server. The link is in the description. So, what has happened? Let's take a look at Liz Truss's Wikipedia article. Her actual name is Mary Elizabeth Truss and was born on the 26th of July, 1975. She used to be in the Lib Dems until 1996 and is currently a Conservative Party member. She was born in Oxford and lived there for like some part of her life and she was educated at Merton College. Wait, Merton College in Oxford? I actually thought it was Merton College in the London Borough of Merton, <laughs> but actually never mind. So, uh... She's been Prime Minister for only 44 days in office and then later announced her resignation. So she has been the shortest ever serving Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. And here is why she resigned. So basically, Boris Johnson resigned in July 2022, which is this year. And uh, like two months later in September, Liz Truss was elected by the Conservative Party. Sadly, we weren't able to vote, but just the members. And also, personally, I would have supported Sunak more. I'll get more information later in this video. And Liz Truss promised to uh, make some uh, tax cuts, but I think she's failed as well as her mini budget. It went uh, too far over the markets. Also, uh, the cost of living crisis has made energy bills go up the house roof and this is just chaos even my parents cannot pay for them <laughs> and mortgages have gone up as well as the pound yes there's been a significant inflation uh, since the cost of living crisis also uh, thanks to Liz Truss for helping uh, Ukraine during its tough time uh, yes I support Ukraine and we all should do uh, as we sanction uh, and not only that, there's been lots of railway strikes, if you didn't know, and if you've been travelling on the railway recently. I'm a train fan, if you know, and I like trains, ha ha ha. Anyways, let's look at her resignation video. It's on this BBC News article. I came into office at a time of great economic and international instability. Families and businesses were worried about how to pay their bills. Putin's illegal war in Ukraine threatens the security of our whole continent. And our country has been held back for too long by low economic growth. I was elected by the Conservative Party with a mandate to change this. We delivered on energy bills and on cutting national insurance. And we set out a vision for a low tax, high growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. This morning I met the chairman of the 1922 committee, Sir Graham Brady. We've agreed that there will be a leadership election to be completed within the next week. This will ensure that we remain on a path to deliver our fiscal plans and maintain our country's economic stability and national security. I will remain as Prime Minister until a successor has been chosen. Thank you. OK, so that's Liz Truss's resignation speech. And she needs, like... 100 MPs uh, by Monday to enter the race for 10 Downing Street. Also, I heard Boris Johnson is coming back. And I think it's going to be chaos, although he's done Brexit. Yes, Brexit means Brexit. <laughs> okay, no football here. This is politics. Wait, why am I even uploading? Anyways, let's just continue and go back into topic. 
also, strangely, we weren't able to vote to the election for the Conservative Party leaders, as well as Prime Minister. Bruv, uh, I actually kind of find it unfair how we weren't able to vote except for Conservative Party MPs. And also, personally, I preferred Sunak, as well as said in the previous parts of this video. And uh, yes, it's because of his tax cuts. I've believed in it. And also, I didn't really trust Liz Truss in what she said. Uh, and also, here's a message to the next Prime Minister of Britain. Do not resign and actually deal with the cost of living crisis and be a good Prime Minister. And yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss out in any more future videos. And that's it. Join the Discord server. The link is in the description. Bye.